it has become apparent that some officers acting undercover while seeking to infiltrate protest groups entered into long-term intimate sexual relationships with women. I uh, had a relationship with a man that I knew as Mark Stone. My partner wasn't Mark Stone, who I thought he was, he was actually the undercover cop, Mark Kennedy. I had a two-year relationship with a man whose real name was John Dines, I knew him as John Barker. I can state that sexual relationships between undercover police officers and members of the public should not happen. There are some women who have had children with undercover police officers. And there is no way on this earth that anybody would consent to have a relationship with somebody if they knew that everything about that person was false. These units have been systematically abusing women since 1968. And I also accept that it may well have reflected attitudes towards women that should have no part in the culture of the Metropolitan Police. It feels to me that women are there, in the eyes of the police, to be used. We were considered to be a perk of the job. The Metropolitan Police have been institutionally sexist in their handling of these relationships. One of the concerns which the women strongly expressed was that they wished to ensure that such relationships would not happen in the future. We still have no answers to why this abusive behaviour was allowed to happen. We've had absolutely no disclosure. Who knew? Who authorised it? Why was he in my life? And who else has been affected? There are many, many women and other people who will have been spied on who don't know.